Welcome everyone. It's been a while since I put out a video, but um, that's not going to be the case in the future. I've been working on my video editing skills and I'm going to put out lots more videos and stick with it here because I am not giving up on over Unity and having a working device very soon that produces excess power that we can power homes with, grow food with the excess power, light up some greenhouses, and that's my goal. So bear with me. The next video, or this current one that I'm putting out, is going to show you a little bit of what it took to build uh, the second generation chrome rate with the raw materials and the machining and things like that. Bear with me, my video editing skills. Uh, I didn't work on them prior to the footage that being taken for this one, so just bear with me on this video. I'm going to make better ones for you here in the future, I promise. Please like and subscribe, and let's work together to get this over Unity out to everyone, to the masses. Uh, it's obviously real. There's lots of people that have this working. They've had it working in the last, I mean, last hundred years. There's been several people that have working for energy devices. There's lots of people that have them working now. But they seem a little bit uh, more reluctant than I am to share it, and that's my goal is to get the working over Unity devices and just spam it out there and show exactly how to do it so everyone can assemble these machines and get them working as quickly as possible together. So if you're interested in that, please like and subscribe. Help me out. Let's get the comments going. If you got an idea, I'd love to hear it. I'm open to them. All information is welcome. Uh, even the haters, it's great. It's fine. I don't mind it. So like and subscribe, comment. Thanks a lot. I love you all. Looking forward to the future. One inch by one inch, mild steel square, square bar. Mag wire, 10 kilograms of mag wire. Aluminum round stock rod five eighths various DC electric motors. What is the square stock for? The square stock is for these pieces on either end of the stacks of magnets and then also the center, center piece where the coils are wound around. That's all ferrous. What's this for? Obviously for the coils that are wrapped around the steel cores. are here for the magnet stacks. We're gonna have four stacks of magnets, not just two on the next machine. Five point three eight. So what's half of that? Twelve point seven. Yeah, twelve point six nine seven. Yep. So I read on a half inch for center line.
Now we're back from the machine shop. We've got our raw materials turned into parts. So this is the 5 8 diameter round aluminum stock. And these particular pieces are the posts for the new chrome ring. And I've built them uh, slightly bigger than the old ones. You can see the old ones just went through here to here. These are an extra um, three quarters of an inch longer. So it allows for two more of these 3 8 thickness magnets. So instead of 11 on the previous chrome ring, we're going up to 13 magnets per stack. And uh, these are strong, so hard to get off with one hand, but I'm gonna put these in there and then show you the stack. So this is the new stack. And these stacks have an iron block on either end. And you can see the iron blocks are going to be mounted. I'm just, they go nice perfectly in between these aluminum posts and then the magnets in between here. And we're going to have four of those on this new chromery. The previous chromery just had two stacks of magnets. So the new one's going to have four stacks of magnets. And most importantly, this is the new shaft that we also made out of the three or five eighths diameter uh, aluminum rod. And you can see we have our one inch square stock iron on there, steel steel but I mean it's pretty much pure iron mild steel and we have an allen an allen ski uh, an allen screw on the other side and this is perfectly balanced I kept it thick in the middle so it won't warp and then we went down to 8 mil diameter on either end and that's gonna go um, the bearings I've got are skateboard wheel bearings, same as the other machine, and they're 8 mil on the inside and 22 mil on the outside. Uh, the hole I have is one inch, so we're gonna have to build that up a bit, but overall, the parts look really amazing. This is the second generation Cromery converter, all finished up, back from the machine shop. You can see we have our aluminum shafts here in the center. I've got the coil wound. Unfortunately, I didn't take a lot of video of that, but it took a long time. It's a tri-fuller coil. Four of them, four stacks of magnets, and uh, very beefy. So this is what it looks like when it's done. I'm going to show you guys the waveform I'll put in the next video and it running, and we'll do some calculations with the power in and power out, and take it from there. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe.